Okay, hi everyone. We disappeared. We're really sorry. I have no idea why that happened. And I'm in charge of technical stuff, which doesn't bode well. However, we're back. I'm really sorry about that. We're going to try again. Uh, this is our Esther weekly lockdown webinar. And we have joining us today, Joe Horder and Sheila Holdsworth. And they are going to be doing various exciting things at the CPD sessions in June, which are the 10th to the 12th of June, online, you can do them from home. If you can't make it at the time, you can watch them afterwards. Phil, can you tell us all about that option? Yes, yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, very important, this really, uh, just to, to, uh, to make absolutely certain that if you book for any of these sessions uh, and you can't make the live aspect of it, then it will be available for at least a month after uh, the session date. So you can dip into it as many times as you want. Um, I think this will be uh, quite useful because there's an awful lot of information that's uh, shared in those sessions. So it's great to be able to reflect on things and then come back to things. And also uh, all our lovely presenters are writing copious comprehensive notes on the sessions, about the sessions. So uh, you'll have a lot of uh, information to take away with you anyway. So that, that's the message. Please don't worry if you're teaching on any of those mornings because, uh, because you'll still be able to join in and still be able to receive all the, uh, uh, the presentation information coming your way. Um, uh, the only thing that will not be uh, recorded uh, will be the quiz because we think on a Friday night you should have, have some time off have a glass of wine and uh, enjoy what Sheila's got in store for you. <laughs> Sheila, we're so, we're so looking forward to it. You are infamous throughout the Exeter community for your, um, <laughs> your challenges, your, uh, your hijinks. In fact, you're actually a stand-up comedian, aren't you, Sheila? <laughs> well, I'm sat down at the moment, but... No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's been known, it's been known. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was half thinking of maybe uh, coercing... Uh, my partner in crime, my partner in many crimes. Uh, Julia, if you're out there, I might be ringing you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, wait. So do you have, a, a, can people write in and, and uh, uh, ask for, you know, suggest uh, things? Absolutely. Like yeah, no, if anybody's yeah. got any super ideas for, because uh, uh, I've never done an online quiz before, then uh, please, yeah, please do <laughs> send any suggestions in. I mean, I know Phil, Phil's already agreed to do a belly dance for us, which is nice. So thanks for that, Phil. We'll be looking forward to that. <laughs> Lockdown suddenly is worth it, isn't it, really? On a more serious note, of course, we have um, Jo here is going to be uh, leading morning sessions, uh, daily morning sessions throughout the course um, on Feldenkrais, which is a word which Phil announced he could spell earlier on. We're going to test them on it later. Uh, jo, <laughs> Can you explain to people who don't know, what is Feldenkrais? Oh, well, it's quite hard to explain. I'll do my best. Uh, well, it's a movement, a method whereby we can learn about our habits through movement. Uh, so we all establish habits. A human being cannot live without habits, but some habits become outdated and don't serve us so well anymore. And so it's a, it's a sort of sp a space where you can learn about your current habits, examine them, uh, explore them and then be presented with other fresh options, new uh, ways of moving. And for us musicians, that'll be particularly interesting because we're, we're all so um, conscious of how we move around our instruments. Um, uh, for instance, I'm a cellist, so um, a, a very preoccupied with chairs and how to sit. Uh, it's been a career long preoccupation how to sit well with a cello and play a uh, play uh, comfortably and that's gone on and on and on being a preoccupation but um what how we look at it is looking for fresh options and, and not one perfect ideal way but many possible ways and staying in movement and 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 staying flexible uh, it's all about exploration, really, exploring movement and discovering new ways, new perspectives um, on how, well, in our case, uh, you might be 
moving around your instrument, sitting uh, and your relationship to your instrument and to your music making. Very, very helpful for musicians indeed. And it transformed my playing when I met it um, for the first time. Uh, I thought, you know, I could play okay. I was reasonably satisfied with what I was doing with my cello. But um, after a few sessions, extraordinary magic. I just was transformed. So I'm delighted to have the opportunity to share it with people. And so what will happen on these, uh, these morning sessions, uh, it'll be 45 minutes before the basics uh, sessions, ideal way to centre, focus, get ready for the concentration you'll need in the basics sessions. Very gentle, slow movement. First one I'm going to be focusing on, the question is, how can our feet help us to sit better when we're playing? Uh, all string players have to sit to play, more or less, most of the time. Uh, so how can our feet help us? And that'll just be basically about the perspectives on sitting, really, and opening fresh ideas about how you sit to play. Then the second session on the second day will be how long are your arms? So it'll be more of an exploration about the structure of the shoulders and how our arms can be used more freely. And third day, we'll bring it all together. Fantastic. So I hope that tells enough about it. No, it sounds really good. I'm just thinking that, of course, this isn't just for musicians though, right? Because here's me slumped over a computer for weeks on end now. Um, and I feel myself becoming the hunchback of Northwest London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I presume even, you know, if anyone's taking part in this and they've got a, you know, a partner who's maybe hunched at a desk next to them, they might also find it interesting to. Explore. Absolutely. It, anybody can benefit from it. And, and especially if you're, it's sort of doing a, a one job as you describe constantly for a day you get fixed you get stiff uh, and, and and that becomes another kind of fixed habit which is not serving you well so exploring other ways people these days are doing quite a bit of standing at their computers that's a new thing isn't it desks that go up and down so there are practical ways of approaching these physical difficulties we get ourselves into but also what we do is we actually explore the movements themselves per se and learn about other new ways that we might be able to move that might work better, serve us better, avoid injury, avoid difficulties. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so this week, it just so happens, it's International Feldenkrais uh, Awareness Week. And if people are not sure how to spell Feldenkrais, there it is behind me, <laughs> might help you. That's the website to go to. Um, and there you will find all sorts of interesting things going on for uh, the Awareness Week. Uh, we've had a series of talks from 12 till 1 each day by a different practitioners. So I did one today called Perspectives on Sitting. Uh, there's been breathing, there's been uh, performance anxiety yesterday. All these topics which are really relevant, delivered by musicians. And if you go to that website, you can find other practitioners near you. Everybody's working online now. No problem. No problem um, accessing a practitioner online because everybody's doing that now. So go and visit that website, see what's going on. Phil, spell it. <laughs> F-E-L-D-E-N-K-R-A-I-S. Very good. Very good. Right. Reading from the screen still, but no, I'm oh, like, no, no, no. no. But um, I was just going to ask Joe, what do I need for these sessions? Do I need to be wearing anything? Do I need a mat? Thank what, you. What kind good of question. setup? Yeah, good question. I think probably some of this information we might send out to, to participants beforehand. But yeah, I think given that it's in the privacy of everybody's home. Um, I, wouldn't have done, I wouldn't do this on a, on, a, on a residential summer course, probably. It would all be with just sitting on chairs and standing and so on. But since you'll be in the privacy of your own home, a mat on the floor, really comfortable, loose clothing, um, warm clothing. So some of it may be lying on the floor. Um, some of it will be sitting on a chair. A bit, a bit of both probably, but yeah, loose warm clothing is, is probably what you need. Great. Sheila, right. will you be trying that? Absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be there. It sounds really interesting. What uh, are you looking forward to most on, on the CPD sessions, Sheila? Whoa. Uh, well, actually probably Lucy. Um, uh, sorry, Joe. Ah. <laughs> 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 
because <laughs> she's she uh, i mean one of her sessions is called resilience for a changing world so she um and it's all based around around that really and her, her other session is called um restart or reinvent um so i think that'll be really interesting she'll have she's great um and she'll have lots of techniques and she'll just have an interesting angle about things and uh I, so i think actually um yeah and because there's always a inimitable simon fisher as well and who knows what happened there yeah, well, unexpected, brilliant. Uh, exactly, expect uh, the unexpected. Yeah, well, uh, actually, with Simon Fisher, si I spoke to Simon the other day, and he was uh, um, inviting questions from the membership. Yeah. So, if you do have any pedagogical question you'd like to put to to Simon, please, please, can you use the support at estherstrings.org.uk email? That'll come through to us, then we can we can pass that forward to him. He wants to put a, a bank of 20 questions together and work through those 20 questions uh, for, the, for the 90 minute session. So if you've got some burning desire to get to the real minutiae of, of whatever point, uh, then, then this is a great opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And he's very skillful he's, and he's got a tremendous amount of knowledge. And um, so yeah, it's, uh, it'd be really interesting. Uh, so yeah, send your questions in. Um, uh, and we'll pass those on. Lovely. Phil, um, I just, I, I may be slightly landing you in it here for a change. Um, I, I'm not sure if well, you're ready to announce this yet, but were you saying earlier on when we met before we came online, we were discussing a new course that Esther might have? Is that secret still? Well, <laughs> well that secret's out now, isn't it, Nicole? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, not new in in that we for the last three years we've we've been delivering the Esther postgraduate certificate uh, in teaching, um, and and that's jollying along and and it's been an incredibly valuable course. Um, however, because uh, it's at level seven, so it's a master's level course, but because it's not the whole masters, um, uh, teachers in the UK or students in the UK can't apply for the student loans. But um, Chichester University, uh, in the process, uh, it'll, it'll go through officially next week now. They're in the process of launching uh, an MA completely online in instrumental teaching, uh, of which the PGC, uh, our Esther's PGC course, is a component part of the MA. So if you're looking to take, and it's a two year part time course, if you're looking to take that course, you will be eligible now for uh, student loans. So I think that's a really, really important move. Also, um, the course itself, I don't have the final price, but it will be far, far less than anything that's out there at the moment because both the university and ESTA is subsidizing the fee. Fantastic, that's so really- There's a little bit of news. We'll, we'll, more, more news to follow on that. Lovely, brilliant. I've got a bit of um, just a little bit of boring online stuff to, to share with everybody. Um, I spoke of, a couple of weeks ago about Source Connect, which was this really great audio option um, to be able to teach online and actually hear what your student's doing. Not always what you want to do, but there you go. For those of you who do, uh, Source Connect, absolutely fantastic. But there's another one out there we discovered called Clean Feed. Clean as in clean your house, feed as in feed your children. Dot net. Um, and it's particularly good because it's very easy to get into. I know a lot of you are having trouble with Source Connect and connecting. Um, so uh, Clean Feed, very simple. Uh, it's just a, a name and an email address and you're in. It doesn't have the same selection of uh, quality of sound. It's just it's sound or not sound. But the basic sound is very good. Um, you ha don't have the opportunity to sort of fiddle with different microphones and things. It's just your device audio, as far as I'm aware. Correct me if I'm wrong, send in the message if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, for those of you who are having trouble with Source Connect, it's really worth a go. It also works on slightly more browsers than Source Connect does. Source Connect only works on Google Chrome at the moment and um, only with, they're both only with headphones. Uh, but Clean Feed is uh, slightly more accessible than the others. So if you've given up on Source Connect, try Clean Feed. I sound like an advert. <laughs> I'm not being paid anything by either of them, but there you go. Great response to me, guys. Uh, but it is really, really good. Um, it's making my life a lot easier as a teacher because uh, I can hear my students really, really well. And then I have the 
or, uh, the picture, I then either have on a split screen, so I have the, the picture and the audio on the same computer screen, or I put the picture on my phone, if my signal's not great, I put the picture on the Zoom link or FaceTime, Skype, or whatever, I mute it. I have the picture on my phone on 4G, and then I have the sound through the broadband on the computer. And that means I'm not stealing um, bandwidth uh, for the picture that I need for the audio. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's worth experimenting. I know a lot of people got very frustrated with it at the beginning because it's tricky to, to get connected, mm -hmm. but experiment, experiment with friends and family, people who have to love you, yes. Experiment <laughs> with them and experiment with headphones as well. If a headphone has a built-in microphone, sometimes it just won't speak to them. So what you want is a really cheap duff old pair of just audio, um, just, you know, just headphones with no microphone in. So not these ones, you know, that, that, that you can speak in and you know, not ones that are made for phones, but ones that are made for hi-fi. Gosh, show my age, hi-fi. <laughs> ones that are made for gramophone recordings, but yes. Anyway, I hope that was not too boring, but I felt it was essential to say it at this point because uh, I know that, that you're obviously all still out there still plowing ahead with the online learning. Well done. Really mm -hmm. easy to hear so many success stories. I'm so sorry for those of you who haven't managed to get online. Um, if anybody wants to drop me a line, please do at info at musicalorbit.com. Um, and if I've got time, I will, I will try and help you get online. Um, I know it's so important for everybody. So mm -hmm. there you go. Um, so final words, Phil. Um, Phil, who is the cuddly toy that's joined you today? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, this one has got the very original name of Bunny. Wow. According to my daughter. So that's this week's contribution from the toy box. Um, uh, another, another point before we go is uh, poor old Steve Bingham is currently lying in a dark room, just recovering from producing the Jester virtual orchestra video, which we're about to see on a premiere on YouTube. Uh, I think it's at 7.45, isn't it, Sheila? Yes. Yeah. So, so Sheila will uh, send out the link on, on Facebook again now, so you'll be able to watch that. Um, Steve tells me there were 99 uh, student entries. So that's a hell of a lot of video footage to get through mm -hmm. and, and to build an audio bank from. So Steve, I think, has probably put in about 30, 40 hours work. Yeah. Um, getting all these submissions in, which is which is a great feat. And we're incredibly grateful for, for what he's done. But also a huge thank you to all the students out there and the teachers for, um, for having a go. And um, nobody here, as far as I'm aware, has, has listened to it yet or seen it. So yeah. it'll be as new to us as it is to you, but we hope you'll enjoy the, the, the premiere that's uh, coming shortly. Yeah. That's on the YouTube channel, is it, Phil? Yeah, that's on the YouTube channel, and I think Sheila's um, going to put a link out on Facebook, so you can just yeah. click through. Yeah, um, it's, it's, the link's already there, and, I, and it was in the member email as well, just uh, recently, uh, an hour ago. Uh, but yeah, quick thanks to Chris Wiggins as well, because he uh, he very kindly yeah. just just gave his music uh, to us to do that. So uh, uh, that's nice. The, the other thing um, is the bursaries are available for the uh, June online thing. So um, if you remember. Um, yeah, put in a bursary application and um, uh, yeah, come and join us. Yeah. It's, it's all on the website, isn't it, Sheila? Yeah. The, 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 all the details about yeah. how to book and, and what each session comprises of, it's all there yeah. at estherstrings.org.uk. Yeah, and you can book for individual sessions as well. So just send me an email, Sheila at estherstrings.org.uk and, uh, and I'll book you in. So you can book in just for your quiz, Sheila? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> extra, extra cost for that. Extra no. cost. I'll, be, I'll be paying you to come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me tonight. Thank you, Joe Horder for Feldenkrais, Sheila for Quizmaster General, Phil for bringing Bunny along, although secretly he might be a taxidermist. We're not sure. <laughs> a little bit worried. Um, we shall see you next week at uh, 7 o'clock uh, for the weekly Esther lockdown webinar. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.